Good morning everybody, I'm in Vilnius and people from FL Technic offer me opportunity to visit some of their maintenance facilities and of course I would like to share this experience with you so buckle up and let's go first stop Kaunas So this is uh, Kaunas Hangar and the uh, guys here will now tell us a little bit about this place. Okay guys, here we have David Us. he is a deputy of Hangar Manager, am I right? Yep. Yeah, and he will go and tell us a little bit about the Hangar and, about the stru and the structure of the company. Okay. Right? Yep. okay. Uh, this Hangar was built uh, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's quite brand new. It looks brand like, new, yeah. our stuff bright. Brand fresh, but experienced. Uh, normally, we have in Lithuania two bases in Vilnius and Kaunas. Mm -hmm. and we are built and start our grow up was from Vilnius, mm -hmm. but now we are the seven years working in Kaunas in our facility. Uh, we have in our facility uh, four bases. Mm -hmm. This four bases divided uh, to like in Hungary we have. Four little hangars. Yeah, it's like four independent. Yep. And we have four lines. Normally, we have take uh, Airbus with 20 family all aircrafts uh, from CEO to NEO and uh, also Boeing 737, uh, Classic NG, and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our teams built by Bay in four teams from Bay, and this four teams is divided by each aircraft zones. Mm -hmm. We are doing rotation each year of their teams. So our experience is not losing just for separate zone. Yeah. Uh, normally uh, we have team one uh, for flight controls uh, divided team. Team two it's for the Ionics, team three for passenger cabin, uh, team four it's dedicated for engines, uh, yeah. fuel, fuel uh, system yeah, guys, guys so on. Guys already explain this uh, we have different customers from different uh, countries. Uh, we are capable to do everything what is included in maintenance. Uh, uh, we have also shops, uh, paint shop, composite shop, structure shop. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we are doing all structure repairs on wing, let's say like that. Uh, uh, our Konos facility is more dedicated to the airport. Uh, but of course we have points too. And I'm more Airbus, so for me it's fine. Nice to you. Uh, <laughs> for example, from biggest repairs, for example, uh, lateral frame replacement, uh, okay, center post replacement. If you saw that, it's like Cabrio uh, taking all uh, around from cockpit all skins and so uh -huh. on. Uh -huh. Big repairs. Uh, we are capable to do everything. We have experience and stuff. Uh, for example, in day we have around. 50% to the bay. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have support uh, structure teams, uh, composite teams, and so on. So, for example, each team has his own team station. Mm -hmm. uh, in this team, existing uh, some computers, uh, shelters, uh, dedicated to exact uh, uh, zone of aircraft. Yes. Because we have different parts, yeah, and mm -hmm. to avoid any any damages and so on. Uh, also, we have. Uh, some stands, special stands, wing uh, stands, which are adjustable by weight and so on. Yeah. Normally, we are doing from little checks to heavy, heavy, big checks. For example, to Airbus, 12 rear check is the biggest. Uh, for example, for this aircraft, it's going big uh, check too. Uh, we are disassembling fully all aircraft and we are checking all structure and special inspections. There is not visible by eyes too. Uh, special NDP yeah. inspection, non-destructive inspections like thermographic inspection, uh, X-ray too, uh, some serious inspection, and we are recovering it. Uh, our customers uh, happy with our quality of course. Uh, we yeah, if they are returning, of course, it means yes. something. Yeah, uh, so. it's most important is to get yeah. good feedback from customers, especially from the airport side, because they are coming back at home to top management, and feedback is coming from the airport side. Uh, uh, 
our system built inside with uh, efficiency to the, our productivity. For example, uh, we know each person what he is doing. Yeah. Uh, we have scanning system to each task. For example. We have statistics. Uh, how much time it's taken, for example, some yeah, we, we saw we saw that uh, how much how much time you invest in each yep. each each phase, yep. Yep. and you yep. counting the by hours. By phases, our philosophy yep. is divided by phases. Phase one is dedicated to the open up preparation for inspection phase two. It's inspection phase itself. You yep. are needed to order all orders to issue non non working cards. Phase three is dedicated dedicated to directly to defect certification. Mm -hmm. uh, phase four, it's dedicated almost to final Finish tests, final, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. close-ups and so on, and final engine run-ups. Uh, each phases has deadlines, and each person inside the team need to reach their phases deadline. For example, if you have phase one to open some access, you are not going to, to do the inspection to phase two in different place, as soon you will not complete phase one. Yes. Because the traceability should be goes in correct deadlines because we have different teams and if we will not work together in our milestones, it will be some plan. Basically, you're working like ju just in time. You one 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 person finish, the other one starts. Yep. And it can it can start without finishing the first one. Yeah. We must uh, to trace our our phases. Mm -hmm. uh, also, before the input to the project, we have uh, our team members, uh, which are like key persons who are creating our milestones. Mm -hmm. Our milestones and first uh, startup is going for phase one and phase two. It means we already know so visit how much it's needed to mm -hmm. be removed components, uh, disassembly, open access done. And after that, after this, we have inspection phase with deadline. So now we're finalizing phase one and phase two. We are doing again one more meeting with these K persons uh, for phase three and phase four. Soon we all know all details from the aircraft, mm -hmm. and we all know uh, estimated time delivery of spear parts. We can to plan phase three and phase four. Of course, we need to follow and customer deadlines with TAT and so on. Sometimes we are reducing TT, sometimes, you know, if we have... Depends lot, of the finding, of, of course. Yeah, findings, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you have a lot of findings, you cannot fulfill the deadline. Of course. For example, 12 years check to the airport, yeah, it's the biggest check. And, you know, it's very important to, to know uh, how it was in previously done maintenance. And it's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It depends on project success. From previous maintenance too. If you if you if you cheat the the previous maintenance, yep. it will be it's like payback time. Yeah, yes, you, you yes, will yes, you will yes, yes. you will find that that that, that Definitely. they've been cheating. Definitely. Or I'm not saying that some customers are doing that, but it can it happen. is rejected to do like that. But yeah. no, we are working in innovation and preservation world is so big, and some, some maintenance yeah. repair organizations just you know try to cut cut, yes, cut, try cut, to cut cut the way. Yeah, of course. Uh, we are not scoping nothing. We are following air warnings, mm -hmm. and it's most important to us to, to, to keep aircraft safety. Also, we are in philosophy with lean system. Yeah. Uh, our philosophy to the base system is built and start from that. Mm -hmm. You know, to efficiency to all processes. Uh, to we are checking uh, previous aircraft some major issues, and we are trying to analyze how to fix it. Faster in to the next projects, uh, just not to to finalize one project and forget that and start from another one. Yeah. We have wrap ups meetings. For example, as soon as we are finalizing one of the projects, uh, I'm initiating all staff meeting like wrap up, watching the meeting, uh, what was it, the previous project, yeah. what was done in perfect way, what was can be improved, yeah. and so on. And you know, with time, for example, Airbus 320 family uh, classic uh, aircrafts, it's older and older, and uh, the defects it's going in major and in major. And you know, with each project, you are you are learning more and more. Also, some 
now tricky in the world with uh, spare parts. Uh, we have uh, troubles a little bit, especially with Airbus spare parts with two the structure parts. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are trying to, 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 to find the solutions with fabricating the parts to get uh, approvals from Yeah, yeah I heard that, well. that you, have, you have this yeah. approval, yeah. yeah. Do you you planning to, to go, I don't know, with 330 or some it, bigger it planes? It was a plan, but you know, uh, in Europe at the moment, 320, it's not... It's a, it's a leading type, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So even 737 go to the background. Yes. Also, for example, we have some challenges uh, we are going to... Uh, we are getting now uh, Boeings uh, during this COVID period, yeah? Mm -hmm. It was so grew up for cargo aircrafts and multiple uh, lease companies and operators uh, wants to get uh, Boeings in cargo conversation. So you're doing conversions no, as well? No, we are no? not doing, but uh, from China, for example, okay. from our group, one of uh, our group company, uh, flying to China, we are converting. After that, we are coming to us, we are doing all maintenance. Also, we have a neighbors, mass aviation. We are repainting fully yeah, yeah, yeah. and we are finalizing all process. It means our customers now, it's very interesting to come and call us, especially for maintenance, because we have a... Because you can good, offer everything. We, we can offer everything and repaint aircraft our neighbors. Also, also, we are supporting like 145 for this uh, mm -hmm, hunger mm -hmm. repaint. Uh, uh, from the field techniques and mm -hmm. these companies, you know, during the redelivery project, it's very interesting to us because we have full house. It means we have a maintenance, we have repaint neighbors, mm -hmm. hunger, and all inclusive to the customer. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, guys, I guess that after this talk with David us, you have a quite clear picture. What is the scope of the work here in Kaunas? And now one of the engineers will show us a few of the tasks which they are covering. So let's take a look at it. I don't know how how deep you're going. You 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 not removing all these parts. Not really. Not always. Yeah. Because it's quite quite often job. Those fittings was repaired. Uh huh. Because it was too free. So yeah. That's why we should remove everything, a little bit lifted, mm -hmm. all, all the VU. So basically and AT, ATD, ATDU is, uh, is up, right? Yes, now it's, uh, everything is going bad, but mm -hmm. it was, yes, it was up mm -hmm. fully. So from that side you can see all the LRUs removed. Yeah, but we, well, sometimes, sometimes we are doing this modification, the, the bolts yes. on the side, they are most of the time migrated out, so... Yeah. So, from the... Most of them, most of the jobs are uh, everywhere. I would like to just clarify something for you guys. This is ATVU. Inside of this rack, you can find most of the computers which control the airplane. And uh, after some period of time, the fittings which hold this rack can suffer from uh, material migration due to vibration and weight of the rack with the computers. So for that reason, we need to remove every computer which is inside, lift the rack a little bit up and uh, change all fittings. Hopefully now it is more understandable for you and let's go back to our tour. Uh, to, uh, yes. yes, yesterday we swapped the aircraft so usually we have uh, like we call uh, avionics uh, tables. Uh -huh. It's quite, quite uh, nice to reach all compartments uh -huh. because all the time you have step around. Yeah. And we have a lot of like here a lot of special made for it for uh, for the wings, uh, for example, and it's uh, hydraulic mm -hmm. motors, and uh, you can lift it. Yeah, of course. So you surround the airplane with yeah. uh, with uh, platforms which you need for work. Yes, yeah. because sometimes it's uh, quite difficult to found some step or work because you know. Tell me something about it on the yes, line. Yeah. Yes, we're changing all the time the aircraft projects, and we don't have like a, that hangar is not produced like one line, one aircraft of type. So that's why all the time. Yeah, you need to. You need to. You need to be uh, flexible. Yes, regarding. we should be mm -hmm. flexible. Okay. That's why. We are now in the composite workshop. 
So Robert, you just pick up one nice uh, piece of equipment. Uh, tell us about uh, this uh, this device which you have here. Yeah, so this is a pretty expensive piece of equipment. Uh -huh. It's called a hot bonder. Well guys, this was just first video from this amazing place. But soon I'm gonna show you uh, videos from the other department, from this hangar. Also, I was not able to cover everything what I want to so if you have any questions regarding this place uh, please write them down in the comments below I will also leave the link and probably even email address where you can uh, ask directly people from FL Technic and I guess they will be more than happy to answer to all your questions a uh, big thank you to each and every person who was involved in uh, this project and also big thanks to the guys who find a moment to talk to me about their work. Also, I would like to say big thanks to you that you find the moment to watch this video. And all what's remaining is say, see you soon on the next one. Bye. Yeah, make all the